glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my God, the man out of time. So you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <sighs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's Dad the food. Dad says not to talk yeah, to strangers. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Stay there, mister. Professor? I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Ah uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear. If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. 
You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? What kinds of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job. I get paid. Money? Oh. Um, how about, uh, 125 caps? We're talking hunting a giant mutated bug. There's risks. That would explain why some students don't come back. How about 150 caps? I need more. For science. Well, if it's for science, 200. I think I have something already. That a boy? Who's my favorite junior scientist? You are. Here's a little something for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Word is something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? of all sea monsters. A Meyerlerk! A Meyerlerk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! Oh, I forgot you were there yet, Fee. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to watch. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> I've got a few minutes to browse. Music to my ears.
You read Saw the paper? security cleaning out another house sense. the other day. Hiding Who among us. Then I'll... Don't bother. Whoever it was, then no one now. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard nothing. Maybe living here's not worth it. Hi there. If the paper's you know telling the truth... Where, where are you gonna go, huh? Make your way in the Commonwealth with all those madmen Who owns this bar, anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, the Dean Bobrov is the loud one, Yefim Bobrov is the quiet one, and I'm the one that has to listen to them argue with each other all day. I've got a few minutes to browse. Hopefully nothing will poison you. Whatever it is, Billy leave Ward. me out of it. And, and the dominoes. Not just Billy. They were there too. Oh, a customer. Need a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Not today. Well, it's vacant if you ever need it. Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always open.
surplus. Open 24 hours. Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always open. City surplus open twenty four hours. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. I'll take a look, sure. Anything and everything.
Yes. Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Ah, oh. But Mr. Zawicki, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that you knowledge a with a school. little quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a nice degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? Nice. All right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yay! Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the anus allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get chummy. Shan, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Shang. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water, and I'll do it without your interference, thank you very much. Hey, I think those Bobra brothers are looking for you. Hi there. <laughs> 